Artificial intelligence, or AI, is like a digital brain that's as incredible as it is unique. It's a fantastic mix of math, data, and innovation. Do you want to learn AI but don't know where to start? Do you think that AI is too hard or too expensive to master? We'll find the 5 easy steps to get good at AI without spending a fortune or wasting your time. Now, let's get started. Step 1. Rule-Based AI Rule-Based AI is the type of artificial intelligence that makes decisions based on a set of predefined rules. These rules are often expressed in the form of if-then statements. For example, an if-then rule for a chess-playing AI might be, if the opponent queen is unprotected, then capture it. Human experts typically create the rules in a rule-based AI system. This makes rule-based AI particularly useful in domains where clear rules can be defined, such as game or legal reasoning. Knowledge representation in rule-based AI involves using rules to formally and logically represent knowledge. These rules are statements that articulate the relationship between facts, conditions, and actions. For instance, a rule in a chess-playing AI might be, if an opponent's piece is unprotected, then capture it. This rule represents the knowledge that capturing unprotected pieces is generally a good strategy in chess. Inference is another critical aspect of rule-based AI. It involves applying the rules to new situations or data. Inference is the process of deriving logical conclusions from the given facts and rules. For instance, given the fact that an opponent queen is unprotected and the rule mentioned above, a chess-playing AI would infer that it should capture the queen. Rule-based AI is often used to create expert systems, which are applications that provide advice or solutions based on domain-specific knowledge. These systems use rule-based AI to mimic human experts in various fields, such as medicine, law, engineering, etc. For example, a medical diagnosis diagnostic expert system might have rules like if the patient has symptom X and symptom Y, then they may have disease Z. The system could then use inference to apply these rules when given the symptoms of a new patient, providing potential diagnosis based off of its rule set. Step 2. Reactive AI Learning Reactive AI refers to a type of artificial intelligence that operates solely based on the current situation or input, without any consideration for past experiences or predictions about future outcomes. These systems react instantly to changes in their environment and make decisions decisions based on predefined rules or algorithms. They simply react to the present situation based on their programming, without any memory of past actions or the ability to anticipate future consequences. This makes them highly efficient and fast, but also limits in their ability to handle complex situations that require an understanding of context or adaptation to new circumstances. Despite these limitations, reactive AI can be extremely effective in certain applications where speed and responsiveness are more important than complexity or adaptability such as in real-time control systems or video games. Knowledge representation is the way that reactive AI stores and organizes the information they need to perform their task. Reactive AI systems use rules or algorithms to represent knowledge formally and logically. Rules or algorithms are the statements that describe the relationship between inputs and outputs. For example, reactive AI system for playing chess could use rules or algorithms to determine the best move for each situation. The rules or algorithms are based on the predefined knowledge of the domain, such as the rules of chess the values of each piece, and the possible moves for each position. Inference is the process that reactive AI systems use to apply the rules or algorithm to new situations or data. Inference once again is the process of deriving logical conclusions from the given inputs and outputs. For example, a reactive AI system for playing chess could use inference to calculate the best move for each possible board position. The inference process is based on the logic and mathematics of rules or algorithms and does not involve any learning or adaptation. Task specificity is the characteristic that reactive AI systems are designed to perform a very specific task and cannot perform other tasks beyond their design. They are also unable to use past experiences or outcomes to inform current decisions. For example, a reactive AI system for playing chess could not play any other game or learn from its previous games. Step 3. Limited Memory AI Learning Limited memory AI systems, such as image recognition systems, operate based on rules, algorithms, or models that represent knowledge formally and logically. These systems use models like convolutional neural networks to learn the features of different objects from a large dataset of images. CNNs consist of layers of neurons that process input images and extract relevant features. The process of deriving logical conclusions from given inputs, outputs, and parameters is once again known as inference. In the context of an image recognition system, a CNN would classify a new image based on its learned features. The model uses the weights of the neurons to calculate the output probabilities for each class of objects. Learning in the limited memory AI systems involves adjusting the weights of the model based on the accuracy of its predictions. An algorithm called backpropagation is commonly used for this purpose. Backpropagation computes the gradients of the error with respect to the weights and updates them accordingly. For instance, consider an image recognition system trained to 
identify cats and dogs. The system uses a CNN to learn features from a dataset of cat and dog images. When a new image is presented, the system uses inference to classify the image based on the learned features. If the system incorrectly classifies a cat as a dog, it uses backpropagation to adjust the weights of the CNN. This adjustment reduces the error in prediction, improving the system's performance over time. Step 4. Theory of Mind AI Learning Theory of Mind AI systems are a step beyond limited memory AI systems. They not only use rules, algorithms, or models to represent knowledge, but also incorporate meta-learning to understand the minds of other agents. This is akin to learning how to learn from data. For instance, a TOM AI system for social interaction might use a reoccurring neural network to learn the features of different emotions from a large data set of facial expressions. Inference in TOM AI systems goes beyond applying rules, algorithms, or models to new situations or data. These systems also use recursive reasoning to apply these rules, algorithms, or models to the minds of other agents. Recursive reasoning is essentially reasoning about the reasoning of others. For example, a TOM AI system for social interaction could use an RNN to infer the motions of another agent from their facial expressions, and then use another RNN to infer the intentions or belief of that agent from their emotions. Learning in TOM AI systems involves improving their rules, algorithms, or models based on feedback or new data. However, unlike limited memory AI systems, TOM AI systems also incorporate self-awareness and creativity. Self-awareness allows these systems to reflect on their thoughts and feelings, while creativity enables them to generate novel and useful ideas or solutions. For instance, a TOM AI system for social interaction could use an RNN to monitor its own emotions and performance during a conversation and then use another RNN to generate new strategies or responses based on its own goals and preferences. Step 5. Self-Awareness Learning Self-awareness and learning, particularly in context of artificial intelligence, refers to the ability of a system to monitor its processes and performance and adjust its strategies or responses based on this self-reflection. This is a significant step beyond traditional machine learning models, which typically rely on external feedback for learning and improvement. In a self-aware learning system, the AI has a kind of metacognition or thinking about thinking. It's aware of its knowledge state, including what it knows and how it knows it and what it does not know. This allows the system to identify gaps in its knowledge in areas of uncertainty and seek additional information or adjust its learning strategies accordingly. Moreover, self-awareness enables an AI system to make better use of its computational resources by focusing them where they're most needed. For instance, if the system is confident about its knowledge in one area but uncertain about it in another, it might choose to allocate more resources to the uncertain area. For example, a self-aware AI system might monitor its performance on a task and realize that it is making consistent errors in a particular area. Instead of waiting for external feedback, the system could then focus more on this area, perhaps by seeking additional training data or adjusting its learning algorithm to pay more attention to these types of problems. Self-awareness also plays a crucial role in decision-making processes. A self-aware AI system can consider its state and capabilities when making decisions. For example, suppose the system is low on energy or computational resources. In that case, it might choose to take less resources intensive actions. Which of the five steps do you think is most important or challenging for you? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to get notified of new videos. See you in the next one, but this is bye for now.